everybody, and welcome to Bob Show Live. This is my first live stream, so you'll have to excuse me if this sounds a little bit uh, clumsy here. Uh, but we are going to have a good time because we are going to be watching and riffing on the time machine I found at a yard sale. The release, actually, the, the kind of title that says, Wow, this is going to be awkward. And I am. Skyping with Raven Fox right now, and she is informing me to remind you that there's going to be a little bit of a delay here. Thank you, Raven, for telling me that. Uh, I can just access my thing here real quick. Yeah, there we go. I need to da, 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 scroll this down. Got to see what my people are saying in the chat room here. Ah. There's got to be a better way of reaching the, uh, <laughs> in the chat here. You can see our text down here, Bob. Yes, I can, Zanoa. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, who's having a good time? I can't hear you! <laughs> Raven says, woo! <laughs> All right, so shall we begin our vi shall we begin our film for today? Zenoa is ready to go, as is Logan McDowell, who also says your channel is amazing. It's one of my favorites. Oh, thank you for saying so. <laughs> I'm just trying my best. Uh, speaking of. I do hope I haven't been spoiling you guys over these last several days with all the uploads I've been doing lately. Uh, usually I just do one uh, video per week, but with the way that Blip's been shutting down, this is just me trying to catch up to uh, finally posting my brand new uh, review on YouTube, uh, which I will be doing today once this is all finished with. Um, I was planning on doing a little bit of a Q&A uh, after the uh, movie today. But if any of you guys have questions before we begin, just shout them out. Yes, Raven is right. I do do Bob Shorts, too. But I just spent one review per week, you know. And for the record, I will be uploading this on YouTube, but I'll also uh, be cutting out the pauses between when I'm saying something and when you guys respond, so it's a little less awkward. Uh, Zenoa has a question. Ask away. <laughs> Zenoa asks, Have you heard of and or seen Felidae and Scruffy? If so, will you review? I have not heard of Scruffy. Uh, although I am always open to suggestions and recommendations for my show, I have heard and have gotten many uh, requests for Philidae. And, hmm, I've been kind of tiptoeing around that one because, hmm, spoiler alert, it's not really a bad movie, just kind of strange. And how do you make any kind of comment beyond it's just kind of strange? But the people have been asking for it, so I guess I gotta do it, don't I? So it's going to be a challenge, but I think I can do it. <laughs> uh, Raven Fox asks, tell us how you heard about the time machine I found at a yard sale. Uh, I wish I remembered the name of the person who pointed it in my direction, but this was a suggestion by one of my fans. Um, I actually started to uh, watch it with Raven. Um... She likes to watch it with me to help me uh, take notes for the movies that I uh, review. But five minutes into this one, we both decided, mm, nope, I can't review this. This is so ridiculous, it has to be a let's watch. <laughs> and if I'm going to be celebrating my 5,000th uh, subscriber, then might as well do it with the let's watch. So why not this? <laughs> Uh, by the way, I have to say, thank you guys for just being 
so awesome. I mean, this is supposed to be my celebration for my 5,000th subscriber, but I'm now well over six. <laughs> I was not expecting to hit 6,000 in this amount of time since my announcement that I just hit 5,000, so... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, Logan McDowell asks, Have I heard about Kiara the Brave slash Super K? I don't know if Super K is an alternate title to that one, but I have not heard of Super K. Um, I have heard of Kiara the Brave. And I love you too, Zenora. Thank you. <laughs> or Zenora, pardon me. Um, I have heard of Kiara the Brave, and that was actually one of the first movies that captured my attention when I'm scanning through the uh, crappy movies in the uh, DVD aisle at Target. But um, why haven't I gotten to it yet? I have no reason for that. It's just been something on the back burner for the time being. But that will be coming. Rosie North asks, can we still email you for the Let's Watch You Hand for Food fight? When somebody asked me if they could still email me for my Let's Watch a Food fight, I will tell them, yes, you can. Here's my bad little Obama joke for the day. Thank you, I'll be here all week. <laughs> Thanks, Obama, says Raven. <laughs> And yes, I do get so many suggestions every day, and I love it. Seriously, guys, if you have any suggestions for me at all, just toss them my way in the comments, or in an email, or just as I'm doing this live. Just throw them out, and I'll see what I can do with them. <laughs> so, where is it? Where is the email? Should I be taking a break from my li uh, live stream here to email you that, or can you just not be that patient? Come on, Rosie. <laughs> Zenoa asks if I can find it. Can I send Scrappy to you? Don't know if it is online, such as YouTube. Uh, yes, that is a good question and one which can be answered for everybody. Um, I am sharing my Let's Watch this with you guys over Google Drive. But um, if any of you have a movie that you might want to toss my way, you can go ahead and share it with, with me over Google Drive as well. So, uh, yeah, you guys got crap you want me to take a look at? Just toss it out there. Throw it at me. I can take it. <laughs> this was worth the wait. Ah, thank you, Rosie. <laughs> uh, so, unless anyone has any other questions, shall we begin? Ah, uh, yes, and Raven is pointing out that I also have access to kisscartoon.me. Wonderful website. It has basically every cartoon and animated film that you can imagine. Kisscartoon.me. Remember that. Great site. And Scruffy is apparently on YouTube. Thank you, Zenoa. I will definitely have to check that out. <laughs> Rosie asks, how many social networks am I on? Um, hmm. I am currently on Facebook and Twitter. Um, social networking is not exactly my forte. Raven's actually helping me to get a better grip on the whole thing. Not that I can't do it, it's just, that's like... Mm, well, I don't know, maybe I can do it. It's got this weird uh, mental block on myself where I can only do so much with it. Um, but, um, yeah, if you guys want to hit me up on Facebook, I'm at uh, facebook.com slash officialbobshow. Uh, the uh, URL is in my credits for any of my more uh, recent episodes, in case you want to take a look at that. <laughs> yeah, there are way too many options out there. Yes, there are. And we have a new person in channel. Instant Jelly says hi. Hi, Instant Jelly. Welcome to Bob's Show Live. How are you? Oh, instant jelly is shy. <laughs> yeah, Raven says I had to convince him that asking people to subscribe to his channel is okay. Yes, Raven, thank you so much for insisting that I make that little video at the end of my uh, more recent reviews. That box is creepy, but he is helping me out. <laughs>
Uh, Rosie Noth loves how friendly Bob is. I try. Glad you appreciate it. <laughs> uh, it does take a while for the text to reach me. Um, yeah, again, there's a little bit of a lag between when I'm saying something and when it finally reaches you guys. So, of course, that's going to be only more time for you guys to type something back to me and then throw that back at me. So there's going to be some time discrepancy. So we're just going to have to deal with that for the time being. Um, let's see, we got about a few minutes left before I begin the movie. I wanted to start at uh, 2.15, so uh, anyone who's having trouble logging into channel can uh, get through all that. Uh, oh, there's about 8 seconds of delay. Hmm. Thank you for pointing that out, Raven. It's a lot better than the 15 seconds we were playing with earlier, right? <laughs> uh, who has any other questions? It's uh, 5 p.m. here, says uh, Zenoa. I certainly hope you're not eating dinner. I wouldn't like to make you laugh so hard that you choke on your food. <laughs> <laughs> How is the weather? That is a good question. The weather is terrible. Because it is August in Southern California. You do the math. <laughs> it's 2 p.m. here, same time zone as Bob. Thank you, Logan. <laughs> And Raymond comments, he lives in hell. Uh, kinda. <laughs> yeah, speaking of, I'm starting off with wearing this jacket now, but it's pretty heavy, so if you see me later on during this live stream and I've got it off, don't worry, I'm not breaking character. This is just me getting kinda hot. <laughs> Any Disney or Ardman reviews? asks Brandon Croker. Oh, come on, Brandon, you're a big fan of mine, and hello, by the way. You should know that I've reviewed some Disney films. Maleficent, anybody? <laughs> Instant Jelly asks, Ever heard of where the dead go to die? Yes, I have heard of that movie. And aren't you all lucky that Halloween this year happens to fall on a Saturday? Guess what I'm going to review for that very special day. So just you stay tuned. <laughs> Zenoa says boo male 50 cent I don't know what that means explain <laughs> no instant jelly says yes afraid so I'm going to review where the dead go to die on Halloween so <laughs> Maleficent equals terrible movie uh, Maleficent only equals half terrible movie. The first half, great. If we could just chop Maleficent in half and keep the first uh, part all by itself, that would work. Let's just stop it when we get to the christening of Princess Aurora. K. K. <laughs> How's your bro? Asks Brandon. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, dead people are dead people. You can't really gauge how well they are. Um, I guess he's kind of okay, what with a Black Lantern ring and all. Um, he's doing a lot better since his possession by the Black Lantern ring. We're not going to have to worry about that thing trying to reprogram his brain or anything, so that's cool. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Zenoa, uh, what am I calling male 50 cent? I'm still not seeing a connection. Maleficent equals male 50 cent. Okay, I get it. Sorry. <laughs> Doi. <Die. laughs> Instant Jelly asks, will this live stream be uploaded to my YouTube channel? Um, not this live stream, but this video that I'm capturing. Everything that we see today, uh, minus all the pauses and awkward silencey bits because of lag and all that, excluding that, everything will be posted on YouTube. So we do have that to look forward to. Oh, we won't have to worry about that. Good, says Rosie North. Uh, won't have to worry about what? I'm confused. What are we talking about? Rosie.
Rosie asks, would I be willing to make more boxes for you guys to buy? Hmm. That is a good question. Oh, oh my, bro my brother's plight. Yes, we don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about the dead people. <laughs> yeah, timing issues, yes. Um... I suppose that all depends on how much my fans would be willing to buy it. Um, if I get a couple people asking for it, I guess I could take the orders as they come. Um, definitely something to look into. Thank you for making that a suggestion. <laughs> um, Ezrim has joined us in channel. Er, Erzim, pardon me. Hi, Erzim. Nice to meet you. Have you planned any live streams in the future? I'm thinking I might want to do one for my 10,000th uh, subscriber, assuming this one all goes according to plan and it works all perfectly, more or less. I guess I'm just going to have to evaluate how this one goes before I decide if I want to do any live streams again. So I'm trying to make this not suck. <laughs> yeah, plastic ones with the cool detail. No, I'm afraid I'd have to go with wooden boxes because I can't exactly afford to license these boxes yet. <laughs> well, too much stuff going by. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm so popular all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, Brandon asks, favorite movie? Um, I think that would have to be The Nightmare Before Christmas because that movie just opened so many doors for me. <laughs> you see one movie and this inspires you to see this other movie and so on and so on and so forth. That was just a nightmare for me. <laughs> Robotnik Penguin Girl asks, uh, Hi Bob, I love your show. I have a question. Have you heard of Legends of Oz Dorothy's Return? If so, do you plan on reviewing it? Oh boy. <laughs> I started watching that and I guess I got distracted halfway through, but uh, what I have seen, it is worthy of review. I mean, think about this. We start out with a story and later on a movie that features the Wicked Witch of the West. One of the most enduring villainous icons in children's literature. And then this new movie comes along and we have the Jester, voiced by Martin Short. Kind of a step backwards. <laughs> so yes, that movie will definitely have its day in court, I assure you. <laughs> Raven is pointing out to me that it is time that we start the movie. Thank you, sweetheart. We will have to hold the questions and answers and hangout time for afterwards. So, are you ready? I can't hear you. I don't think you're ready. Are you ready? Then, let us begin. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Everything else in between, I give you the time machine I found at a yard sale. <laughs> this movie wants us to think that there are actors in it. That's adorable. I'm Mike Wallace. I'm Morley Safer. I'm Leslie Stahl. The Actors Theater Production Company presents the basic titles that you'll find on Adobe Premiere. <laughs> it's like the title's embarrassed of itself. The Time Machine. I found it at a yard sale. Starring the first people the director could find. You know, not a lot of movies can sustain a five minute shot of a clock. For example, this one can't at all.
Sadly, the clock is the most well-written character in this entire movie. Don't believe me? You will. out on a piece of toast by Stephen A. Sand. The end. Well, it was a bad movie, but at least it was short. as he forgets where he's going! <laughs> oh yeah, I can see how that would grab his attention. Kickstands are too hard! Yes, it looks wow, like it's made it of gold. I just had to take my word for it. It is. Not because it's made of gold. Why are you selling out at a yard sale? It's only for sale to the person who's supposed to have it. <laughs> yes, somebody with a lot of money. No, you are the person. Well, I don't have a lot of money. Well, I certainly didn't have enough money to buy a microphone. How did you know I had $17? I know a lot of things, just as you would. Um... Why would you sell a gold box for seventeen dollars? I don't know. Why exactly. would we cut to an extreme close-up of a golden frog? The whole world right now. I'm selling it to you because you're the one who's supposed to have it. I don't understand. <laughs> Neither do we. Here, let me get a sturdy bag for you to carry it in. We wouldn't want to drop it. And yet we can hear the bag crinkle perfectly fine. That's where the mic is. Take good care of it. Remember, no one who owns it really possesses it. If really is caretaking, just use it only for good. Only use it for good, guy who doesn't know how to use a kickstand. Oh, well. Orville Redenbacher. Let's give a big hand for Orville Redenbacher, ladies and gentlemen. Start the scene right about right about now. Brilliant. And action. Audiences will not be admitted during the epic guy wandering around his grandma's kitchen scene. How do you plug it in?
Take your time, movie. Okay, we got OJ, some purple stuff, soda. Hey, Sunny Delight. Told ya. Can your heart stand the amazing orange juice drinking action? Is this guy aware that he's in a movie? Ah, you see that? He goes for a third drink. It's the rule of three. This is hilarious! Keep shooting! Get every frame! This is gold! Cut! Print it! Beautiful! What the... Oh my god, it's a toaster with four slots! What mad science is this?! Or maybe it's just a broken speaking spell. Wow, it has the power to put the footage in fast motion. Nope, I don't get it. So if it's 10 p.m., why does it look like it's still dusk outside? He's right, there's not enough money in the world to buy this thing. Yeah, except that he sold it to the first guy who came across it for 17 bucks. Wow, at this rate, we're gonna see tomorrow in a matter of hours! Cot kit, 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 cot kit. I don't understand. <laughs> I soon found that I could move forward or backward in time as fast as I wanted. I could even stop time from my perspective. I found I a found machine that, that can manipulate time. This is time the greatest discovery the ever made. To the time selected. Up to this point, I had been using the time machine as if it were a toy. I had always wondered what the future held for mankind. I decided that I wanted to see what life would be like tens of thousands of years from now. So I decided to go back to my apartment and pick up the things I thought I would need for my journey into the future. I decided wow. to leave anyone else feel like watching bar. Invaders from Space? Uh later in his toilet. Oh my god, it's Birdemic! Everybody run! <laughs> So they had the ability to shoot on location, but they couldn't bring the actor with them? <laughs> the nuclear bomb I found at a yard sale. So he tries to travel into the future and instead travels back into what looks like the distant past. Thanks a lot, Pixar Theory.
loud, the great outdoors. It must be the future! Scientific proof that trees do exist. It's hot out. Must be some kind of future outside heating technology. You know, if this guy gets eaten by Ewoks, it would make this whole thing worth it. So, yet again, trees, I guess. I'm sure this is all going somewhere, if you'll be patient. So what does he bump into Master Yoda? Do something! More walking, more walking. Ugh, walking is hard. At this point, maybe it would help if he had some kind of objective. Hey, there's a park and we have a video camera. Let's make a movie! Oh my god, he's in Narnia. Looking at this is too much trouble. <laughs> he found the the uh, rebel base on Yavin. All right, we get it. He's walking. Please do something. Oh my god, he forgot how to walk. Thunk. Good lord, the next 15 minutes is just going to be them picking berries, isn't it? Oh, I love my pretty little flower. Oh, I love... Sorry I'm late. Can we start the scene over? Wait. Odd. She doesn't look like she'd be all that hard to catch. Whoa! Back up there, movie! What's that sound? The alarm. What alarm? Did you go near the monitors? The columns, they're this tall? Yeah. Oh no. Now I'll find both of us. I'll be punished again. They were just in the woods. Why are they suddenly on a green screen? <laughs> Plan 10 from outer space. Conquer the world with super intelligent chipmunks. Da 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 da
Ah, I'm surprised by you again. Who is that? <laughs> Who are you? The law enforcers. Listen to me. I have the power to prevent them from ever taking you down. I have the power to travel through time. There's no need for law enforcers. What's your name? Shiba. Shiba? Shiba. Shiba. Where do you come from? Uh, I'm from here, actually. I've never seen you. And your clothes are strange. Uh, I came from the past. Travel here through time. How did you travel through time? I have a machine. Time machine that I use to travel through time. As opposed to the time machine that he uses to travel to Jersey. In my backpack. Can two people travel through time? Yes. Why are they after you? I ran away. Why did you run away? Once you're cast okay. in this movie, there's no escaping it. Sorry, How long? Um, what about your family? I have no family. No one? No. no. So, so you're available. Where were you running to? I don't know. Anywhere but here. Yeesh, close-ups are not your friend, Shiva. Have other people escaped? Some. Where did they go? I don't know. They just saw them again. Robert? Yeah? Why did you come here? I wanted to see what would happen to the human race. Human race, yeah. Yeah. It really blows. Are you going to return to your time? Not yet. I still want to go farther in the future and see what happens. What? And leave all this behind? Robert? With you. Are you sure that's what you want? Yeah. All right. Staying close to me. <laughs> yeah, I tried that in high school. I wound up in the Mesozoic era too. scene. Wow, the future's amazing. How far are you going to the future? <laughs> I'm not sure. Thousands of years? Yes, you can tell that you've traveled thousands of years since everything looks exactly the same. Because I'm not a slave anymore. I'm not going to look like one. I'll be right back. Thanks for liberating me from slavery. Bye now. The part of our main character will now be played by a tree. You're welcome. And action! I kept this secret. I hid it until the day I would be free. I made it myself. It's very nice. I made it during the 20 seconds I was off camera. Yes, yes, dear God, yes, I have a wife! Do you have a woman that you care about? Not at the moment. Do you have a mother and a father? Brothers and sisters? I have a mother and a sister. Do you live with them? No, we all have our own places. I'd like to meet them. <laughs> yeah, I think they would. <laughs> she asked, do you think they like me? And he had to think about it before he could say... Yes. My mother's gonna be away for a couple months. You can stay at her place till we figure out what to do. Where do you come from? What do you do? 
You mean for work? What do I do? Yes. What do you do for work? I usually just stare at things. I work for an online publication on the internet. <laughs> this guy makes a living off the internet? Loser! People about things. So, everyone knows you're going into the future? No, no one knows. No one even knows I have a time machine. Oh, what about work? We have to tell the people where you work. I'm on vacation. What does that mean? Every year, I get three weeks where I don't have to work. I had one day a week. I had two days a week, plus three weeks. Thrill as they compare work schedules. Yeah. Me too. You know, I can use the time machine to make my vacation as long as I want. I can set the machine to go back to the exact day I left, even the hour, the exact minute. I can make my vacation last 20 years if I wanted to, and no one would even know I was gone. Yeah, no, you can't. When you come back and you look 20 years older. Yeah. Let's climb that hill and see if we can see any signs of civilization. Let's climb that hill that you'll just have to take my word is actually there. Ah, uh, empty scenery. I feel better already. Don't! Oh! Bongo survived the apocalypse. And they were never seen again. The end. And bear in mind, this is the footage that they kept in the movie. The cutting room floor was incredibly clean. Arboretum I found at a yard sale. And the music budget just ran out. Whoa. What is it? It's a, it's a gazebo of the future. Jello toilet of the future. And this is a poorly composited green screen shot of the future. Sometime. They must have just walked away from it and never came back. Who does it belong to? Oz. Let's go inside and have a look. <laughs> All that pointless walking, and they could teleport this whole time? Ugh! And again, they're on a green screen. Could they really not just do this in a black room? Looks like the crew's quarters. It does? They didn't make their beds. No, they must have left in a hurry. Look, there's a hallway up ahead. I can tell that without actually looking at it first. Where does it go? It goes to Milwaukee. How sure. is he supposed to know where it goes? Later and check it out. Wow, this all looks so interesting. I know, it's so visually stimulating I can't process it all. What are those? Some kind of cargo containers. Strapped to the floor. This looks like it's the control room of the ship. No, it doesn't. This is cool. I'm Maybe easily impressed. Why not? Whoever owned it abandoned it. It's ours now. Yeah, Zephod Beeble Rocks look. had that same mentality and got shot into the here. sun because of it. This is 
nice. Very comfortable. Sure would be nice if we could see oh, it. See how to turn it on. Why don't you give me the time machine? I'll wait outside. Yeah, I'm just gonna borrow the time machine for a minute and so long, it. loser! You've never flown something like this, have you? Stop worrying. What could go wrong? Don't, don't like worry you. about it. <laughs> Sit down, please. Yes. Star Trek sound effects. That's more yes. Like it. Put your seatbelt on. My what? Your seatbelt. What's a seatbelt? We forgot about personal safety in the future. Great, now they're gonna spend the next five minutes showing us how seatbelts work. Okay, we don't need to see every second that goes into them putting on their seatbelts. Move on! Skittle controls activate. This doorknob would know anything about how this works. What's this? You must deliver the supplies to the members of the resistance as soon as possible. See what Sir Agassi is at the outpost on the arm. He will tell you exactly where to deliver the ship. <laughs> Mr. Seven, you were very highly recommended. The lives of many people are in your hands. The lives of many people are in your hands. Oh, oh hi, body. Mark. <laughs> star charts, but I don't know how seatbelts work. We don't know what we're getting into. It could be dangerous. We need to go. We need to go help in some resistance that we have no reason to be a part of. Okay. What are these points? What's this pools? I don't know. Well, it's on the way. We can stop there and see. Alright. Oh, we're on our way. Yikes, this thing's fast. Even at sub-light speed. Yeah, it really looks Exotic. fast, doesn't it? Planet with the rings. I wonder what it's like to go between the planet and its rings. Hang on. Uh, maybe you might want to slow down a little bit. Fun. What happened? Let's see how to go to warp speed. I got it. Wow, look at this. Wow, look at the screensaver. This is 
fantastic. Yes. If you say so. We're traveling at warp seven. What's that? Seven times the speed of light. Very fast. I remember that from Space Trek Lactica. supposed to be about a time machine? seconds of watching this guy and she knows how to fly a sophisticated piece of alien machinery. That makes sense. This is really fun. It sure is. It's great having your own spaceship. Yes. Well, it's not far to the pools. You can fly it there. When we get there, I think you better let me land it. Alright. I'm gonna get a little rest. Tell me when we get there. Okay. Whenever we get somewhere, just let me know. Of course you do. Let me take it now. Okay, right. dropping the sublight now. Should be a planet, right? Right around that star. There it is, dead ahead. Wow, who knew that's who knew that Mars was further away than Saturn? Next shot. Next shot! Next shot! Next! Thank you. Gee, I wonder if they're landing on an alien planet. Oh, come on, would you just land already? What is this, a demonstration of Google a Galaxy? Get to the point! They're landing on planet Modesto. were traveling at the speed of light. They landed before the sound effects could catch up to them. Alright, gentlemen. We've successfully turned off our hair dryers. to the planet map, we're close to the place marked on the map. Should be at the foot of the mountain. Shall we go have a look? Yes. Meanwhile, it's somebody's koi pond. beautiful green screen I've ever seen. The rock candy mines of Willy Wonka. Oh no, don't turn on the romantic music, please! We don't want to see this! 
Let me guess, they're gonna walk past it without noticing anything. Holy crap, I'm freaking psychic! Oh no, they're gonna get all squishy. <laughs> Wait, what? Did they just will themselves out of existence? Did the movie completely cut them from itself? Did the editor suffer from a fatal heart attack? What happened? Did she just flash back to herself? Oh, thank God it's over. Oh, come on! If it doesn't take long, will you just stop it? I don't care. That's fine. I wonder what D means. I don't know. It looks like it's the fourth planet from the sun. Maybe that's why it's called D. I don't know. Maybe. I don't really well, care and stuff. Like the coolest planet. Yes, you can tell that's the fourth planet from the sun just by looking at it, can't you? Forget to include the effect here. What did the director just leave the camera running? What's happening? Oh, th oh there he is. I just found Waldo. Don't walk too far away. Let's walk away in different directions to get more easily lost. Cut. Cut. Cut! Cut! Next scene! Thank you. I guess the ship doesn't have a bathroom on board. Anytime you're ready, movie. Oh, thank God, something's going to happen. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Tape's still going? I'm here now. <laughs> really? <laughs> so they traveled into the future so they could get into a spaceship so they could travel to another planet that just happens to be in its prehistoric period. The plot has officially imploded in on itself. Smart guy, uh, I mean, a clever girl, damn it. <laughs> Even the special effects want nothing to do with this movie. 
Of what? <laughs> they had to tell us like it's a freaking silent film. Oh my god. You would never find a more wretched hive of scum and dim wittery. You must be cautious. And the award for best set design goes to... This is where they said he is. Oh, after you. Hey, Carlos hey, Mencia. Let me get you at table. We're here to see Mr. Agassiz. Oh, business. Huh. In that case, you'll be our guests. Please, follow me. Okay, prehistoric alien man who looks human and knows English somehow. Please, have a seat. The show is about to start. I'll get you something to drink. Oh good, some real uh, entertainment, finally. Show. Of course, please, make yourselves comfortable. I'll be back in a minute. Mr. Agassiz will be here shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, it's like we don't even need to talk anymore. It's a nice place. Yes. So, uh, you come here often? Dancer of the future! Past. Uh, present. Whatever. Whatever the hell we are. I have this unfortunate feeling that hiring this chick is where all the budget for this movie went. So far, this Billy Dancer has given us the most thrilling dialogue. Oh, I get it. She's reading us the menu in mine. Ah, see that gesture? That was chicken wings for $6.99. Yay! song that was cut from the track. On oh, that little hip wiggle, they have margaritas for eight dollars. Cookies and punch in the fellowship hall. You know, I'm really connecting with these characters. I too need to get drunk. Yes, this is good. Um, 
I'm Augustus. How can I help you? I'm Robert Moore. This is Shiva. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm sorry about that. Your girlfriend is quite ugly. To business. We're here to get the instructions on where to deliver the shipment for Mr. Seven. Where is Seven? We don't know. He disappeared. We found his ship already. He left it. We were told to see you for instructions on where to deliver the supplies to the resistance. It would be best if you didn't mention that word. It's Patton In Oswald. Files, it's spies everywhere. You must not discuss this with anyone else. I hope that nothing has happened to Seven. It's not like him to walk away and just leave his ship. Yeah, well, even he gets boarded sometimes. Do you think he had a choice? That's disturbing. This paper has the information you will need to deliver the supplies. Thanks. We'll deliver the shit, man. These are dangerous times. We're not from around here. We don't know about anything that's going on. Then why do you want to work for these people? In the last few years, the Empire's government has changed. Some very bad people have seized power. Things have become very repressive. Many have been in prison but have just disappeared. Do you have in your possession something which you would like to solve? Like what? It's not important, I just thought. What kind of thing? What has been important? You haven't happened to find any diamonds, have you? We don't have any diamonds. It's not important. But if you should happen to find yourself in possession of certain stones, I would offer you the best price for that. Just keep in mind. We will? Yes. I wish you good fortune. May you be guided and protected. And maybe meet again very soon. In the Thank sequel. You. Thank you. We're getting near the place, Mr. Agassiz warned us about, aren't we? Yeah. It's probably too late to turn back now. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, you traversed God knows how many centuries and light years through time and space, and now you want to turn back. Huh. Now it sounds like Danny Elfman has taken over the score. Go, Danny Elfman! Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin McLeod. You know, if you guys wanted to open the airlock, um, I'd be fine with that. into the Superman credits. Da 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 pfft, ow! What is it? Oh, battery! I, I can't tell. I think there's something ahead. Oh wait, no there isn't. There's nothing ahead. And the crazy circus music off the port bow, Captain! Oh, I get it. It's the nothing's happening alarm. I'm gonna drop the sublight and see what's going on. Where's the sublight button? They're somehow going faster at sublight speed than they were at warp 7. <laughs> Are they 
they shooting off bottle rockets? We can't outrun them. I'm gonna drop to sublight speed and find a place to hide. You were at sublight speed! There. There's a planet. I'm gonna go around it and hide the ship. Oh good, it sure was lucky you just happened to bump into a nearby planet. No way they could follow you there. It's no good. They're on our tail. We gotta move. We gotta move. Very... 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 Slowly. <laughs> yeah, great. Special effects by MS Paint. got an idea. I noticed before when we went through a nebula, our instruments went dead, and we couldn't see anything. Our instruments totally went dead and stuff. Now. I'm gonna slip in there and come to a stop. Hopefully they won't be able to find us. All you have to Here do is not panic, okay? Oreos in space! That's okay. Drifting? This plot is completely derailed. It's a giant moon pie. You know, the director was kind of ambiguous about this, but I'm getting the feeling that there's a ship flying through space here. Sense the presence of spaceships. Of course you can, sweetie. God, this is stupid. Let me handle the ship. I can find them. How? You can't see them. I sense them. I can do it. Okay, but you'll have to use thrusters only. Thrusters as opposed to what? The spaceship's four-wheel drive? You know, there's a lot of potential in this movie for something to happen right about now. That was embarrassingly well, easy. Got the helm. Why don't you lay in our course? Our five-year mission: to find strange new plot points that only end up wasting the audience's time. We're almost to the planet. I hope there's someone there to receive the supplies. I hope so too. We've already had a shootout with one star cruiser. Who knows how many are looking for us now? You shot one laser one at happened. one star cruiser and it popped like a balloon. I think you can take them. You wanna land the ship? You can land it. You're the ace here. I haven't destroyed any enemy ships. Oh, cheer up. Maybe you'll get your chance. No, let's hope not. Yeah, explain to me again how a slave who's been picking berries her whole life knows how to do all this.
Next scene! Thank you. American Gothic! Stay away from me! Well, that's that. I wonder why no one yep, was that's that. Whatever I, I just did. Someone was supposed to deliver the stuff some weeks ago. I guess they couldn't just stay around. It's too dangerous. Well, we did what we were supposed to. Mr. Aziz has instructions that to bury the supplies into the marker. Yeah. Yeah, did it. I just need to rest. We'll go in a minute. I just need to rest. We'll Can't you see how exhausted I am? Show you more about what's going on here. Here we are in a strange place far from Earth, thousands of years beyond my time or yours. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what's going on here? How do you think we feel? Oh, much more interesting now. Just to think that only a few days ago I spent my time sitting behind a desk writing about things that just don't seem very important now. Now I'm standing in front of a green screen talking about things that aren't very important now. I know what you mean. My life is so much better now. I could never go back to my time. I am so happy right now. Can you tell how happy I am? Don't worry about it. You're not going back. It seems like everything that's happened was supposed to happen. Of course. But what I mean is, from the beginning, the old man that gave me the time machine, then stopping where I did in your time, if I had been a few minutes earlier or a few minutes later, we never would have met. <laughs> it was all meant to be. I don't believe in coincidences. Whatever happens is supposed to happen. Seems like it. And there's the whole thing with the ship. It was just sitting there waiting for us. It's yeah, like this was all horribly like contrived or something. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It seems like everything was just sitting there waiting for us. It was supposed to be. Yeah, well... What now? What do you want to do? Well, we have the ship, and we have lots of food. I like to see more places that I haven't been to. You'd like to travel? Yes. <laughs> I guess that would be fun. While we're at it, maybe we can become a little more knowledgeable about what's going on in this time. <laughs> we might make it a little safer. So you plan to become more, more knowledgeable sure of this time by wandering aimlessly through the galaxy. Okay, Makes sense good. to me. Okay, I just need to rest for a little bit. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I forgot. While you were digging, I was cleaning the ship. And I found this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Toodles is happy thoughts, oh, man. man. Wow. The more I find out about Mr. Seven, the more I think he was into a lot of things. Diamond smuggling. Could we use some of them to buy some things? Just don't look for his porn collection. Since we're going back to Damar, I thought maybe we could buy some new clothes. You want to buy new clothes? I saw some beautiful clothes there. Why not? They're yours. You found them. I think one of those stones could buy you more clothes than you could fit in the ship. Oh god, thank you! Back to the toilet! Seriously, this movie is making the room look like freaking Citizen Kane. Yeah, I said that. I see you found something. I found a few things. Did you see me? I found a few things at the yeah, rocks over there. Said again, yeah. Then be glad to buy any diamonds that we'd like to sell. I don't think we'll need any more money for a long time. No, I think we're set for a while. He's got another job for us. Does it involve the resistance? No, he says it's not dangerous. He said he'd do it himself if he had a ship. What is it? We'd have to go pick something up on another planet and bring it back here. It's not anywhere near You know, just go to another planet. No, no big thing. Anywhere near there. REACT TO SOMETHING, DAMN IT! It's up to you. We can go if you want to. I mean, if it's not too dangerous and it's not too far, I think we should. 10,000 credits... You haven't seen anything dangerous so far. I think you're good. I don't know. I mean, renting ship's not cheap. Maybe he thinks we trust Wolf. Maybe it's very valuable and he doesn't trust anyone else to do it. Yeah, I'm sure that's part of it. Uh, you ready to go? Yes. Okay, I entered the coordinates. We shouldn't have any problems. I entered the coordinates without pushing a single button. I don't care. Just be careful around all the buildings and watch out for other ships. I will. 
Oh boy, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh. The sign lit up saying, please do not press this button again. Is the spaceship a convertible? Is she putting the top down? Yeah, you're a woman, right? Go make me a sandwich. <laughs> space sandwiches made with space bread and space cheese. a steaming pile of crap, but this is actually good. This is like having a motorhome, only it can travel through space. It's no, that would actually faster. be interesting. This is like looking at a fishbowl. And the fish are dead. Cup holders in this thing. Okay, I'll set the ship down at the coordinates. Should be right about there. Oh, look at the mountains. Yeah. Wow, look at the Setting mountains in space. Now. they're not showing us footage of them actually landing on the planet. I think I miss it. Can we come back to that, please? It's supposed to be a short distance from here. Shall we go? Yeah. Yes, it's just a short distance to... nothing. A little chilly, but not too cold. It's not cold. We're not actually on this planet. So is he gonna have to cut her open so he can live inside her for the night? And I thought she smelled bad... on the outside! It's not cold. That's why I'm hugging myself like this. Well, it was right where Agassiz said it would be. How did he know it was here? I don't know. Someone must have dropped it off here. Oh, oh I, I sincerely know. hope that these people get mauled by a yeti. Please let that happen. Please let them get mauled by a yeti. It's much colder here. We need to get back to the ship. We're not dressed for this. What's that? I don't know. Let's get back to the ship. I don't know what it is, but it's terrifying. We need to go now. Oh my god, no! Well, that's what happens when you leave your cigarette lighter on the seat. Ah, so there's hope in this movie. <sighs> well, I guess I'm more disappointed than marooned. Line! The paddle 
long fun. I don't regret anything. That makes one of us. I just wish it would have lasted a little longer. Do you think it will hurt? No, they say they just fall asleep. I wish I had gotten to meet your mother and sister. I want to make a good impression. They would have liked you, sure. Is she wearing a condom around her neck? Oh dear god, they're gonna try to make body heat. Cut to something else! Whew, thank you. I'm getting some cold. Yeah. It's almost like we're on an Robert, ice planet or what? something. Please, please. What? Robert, is the time machine in your backpack? Yeah. Yeah. We can leave and go back in time before they find the ship. Yeah, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah, luckily the time machine was built in a way so that it can also jump galaxies. Everything's gonna be fine. Smile. Hi, can we be in your movie? Hi. 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 I'm Robert's mom. Call me Patty. It's so nice to meet you, Shiva. Barb. This is so much like Robert to do something like this and not tell us. He brings us slave so girls from the futures to visit us all the time. You're really nothing special at all. Wow, no dead air or empty silence before they enter the scene? That's impressive. So where did you meet? In Hollywood. I was walking in. So I hear you're from the future. Yeah, Isn't that I something? Took a few steps back and we actually crashed right into each other. Oh, that's funny. So are you from Los Angeles? Yes, I've always lived here. Yeah, she actually grew up right here in Hollywood. And your parents? Do they live in Southern California? They did, but they died when I was very young. So, how long do you guys know each other? The awkward meeting of the family. I found uh, at a yard family. sale! Really? So it was love at first sight? It all happened so fast. Yes, it certainly did. Well, <sighs> Can we just go back to the green toilet? That was so much more engaging than this. So, Shiva, what do you do? Uh, she works at a produce company, selling berries and stuff. But she quit her job when we met. So I swept you off your feet and carried you away? Yeah, sort of. It's mutual. I quit my job this morning. But I thought you liked your job. I did, but, well, between the two of us, we have a bit of money. We're gonna travel. Yeah, <laughs> she's always wanted to travel, so we're gonna see a bunch of places she's never seen. We have lots of adventures together. Definitely. Yes. I bought a motor home, so we're gonna travel around in that. One of those big monsters? Oh yeah. It looks like a ship. <laughs> so you're gonna take a couple years off and see the sights? Yeah. <laughs> something to be said. Yeah, because people with no jobs can easily do that. Yeah. Hi mom, I got a spaceship. Bye! No, it isn't. There's no X on it. Yeah. All right, let's go. I think I figured out what part of the star system this map refers to. How? Hit this planet any minute. Yeah, let's travel the galaxy by hanging around Mars again. Jeez, they couldn't even paint it green or something. Come on, guys! Giant flying grain of rice away!
encourage that stewardess with my coke. It's not like you can just land the ship at the end of the canyon, huh? Huh. They landed in a crater that was made by whale meat. <laughs> My god, it's like watching Avatar. Look at these beautiful effects. I really believe that they're there. Oh wow, walking past the camera on a green screen. This is new! Please get zapped by Jawas. So, um, are we supposed to take any turns on this treasure hunt, or, um, no, we're just gonna keep walking down a straight line, huh? And what's going on in this scene? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! There's the entrance to the canyon. Let's go. And here comes R2-D2 coming around the corner. Wow, this is a weird looking place. Yeah, it's spooky. Peace of fire. Come on, Didi. They're making a left turn! They're making another left turn! They're making another left turn! I wonder what's gonna happen next! You know, when you're watching grass grow, at least you know that the grass is growing. What are they accomplishing here? Sweet buttery god, just let something happen! Anything, please, I'm begging you! We're almost there. Ah! Just get there already! Make a jump cut! Make a transition! Just get there, please! Is this director just pioneering new ways of using dead air? Come on! I think I see the end. Oh, yeah, the end, which looks like every other cave rock we've seen so far. Ah! It's one of those flashlights that don't emit any kind of light whatsoever. Fancy. Oh hey, check it out. This is new. Not only is it nothing, but it's nothing that we can't even clearly see. It's ingenious!
what did they just walk into the Twilight Zone? You know, flashlights usually work better when you TURN THEM ON! We're gonna see every second of them evolving away into golems, aren't we? There's a hole in the top of the cave. Moving on! We got about five minutes of this movie left. The payoff had better be amazing! Whoa. I can't see the bottom of this thing. Neither can we. Yes, let's get away from the edge of the pit that's hundreds of feet deep. Our brave hero needs to be advised to get away from the edge of the pit that's hundreds of feet deep. How does this guy even remember how to eat? You're going somewhere? It's like a completely different movie now! Thrill as she stands around! Oh, man. Next scene! Next scene! Oh my god, are we actually waiting for him to return? There he is! More diamonds? Yeah, there must be a hundred of these bags down there. I'm gonna go get more. Stay here. There must be hundreds more of these. Wait here while I come back hundreds of more times. Oh, thank you, Green Toilet. Take me away! <sighs> so soon. So relaxing. Hmm. Oh no, go back! Please go back! <laughs> oh, this is great. I don't see how it could get any better than this. Yeah, it's wonderful. I can see how it could get better. You'd like more fish? Oh no thanks, I couldn't eat anymore. It was good though. Yeah, I'm full too. You want a refill? No, I'm fine. Robert. What? I need to talk about it. We just got here. We deserve more than a few days rest. Oh, I know. We need a little rest. But at some point, we need to help the resistance. Why? If you don't want to, we won't. I didn't say I didn't want to help them. I just think we need rest. That's fine. I won't say anything else about it. <laughs> I want to help them. I told Agassiz. It's just a question of when. It's just a question of when will we get the budget to show the resistance. Then I'll join it. Alright, we'll flip a coin. Heads we leave now, tails, tails we leave. you die. Oh man. Oh man. I can't believe this is the line that we're closing out on. And yes, seriously, that was the end of the time machine I found at a yard sale.